Hi there folks, I'm Sapelio and this is the video portion of my basic net reading tutorial. So I'll just be going watch I'll just be going through what's in the digital tutorial that I posted on the forums. So um first step, if we change the camera view, um is to draw a nice box. As you can see it has a garish pink caulk colour, which is always nice. And we can see it in the three D view there, that's our box. And then we have to resize this box so it becomes a wall. And to do this, we just click outside the area of it and drag it down. Um, next, we have to see what sort of height it is. So we change the view from orthographic XY to YZ. Um, it's quite tall, so I'm going to shorten it just a tad. Um, you may have to take yours up from down to this height, back up again, or whatever. Just get it a nice height so a player can actually stand in it once it's um, put together. Anyway, then we go back to the XY view and we go edit, copy, and then we paste and it pastes directly on top of the previous one and then what we have to do is rotate it, so we click z-axis rotate once and then move it into position so it's flush with the other section then we copy this bit and move it across I use the keyboard command control c then control v there which is much faster than having to fiddle around with the menus and then we copy the other part and move it into position. Then if we use the 3D view and move inside our box we can see we now have our four walls completed. Uh, next thing to do is change the view back to the YZ view and then we have to create the floor and the ceiling. So I'm just dragging a box across like this and then another one at the top like this and then we have to change back to the XY view and determine if our two new brushes actually meet properly and as you can see they don't, they don't span the entire length so we just resize them like so and that's them flush so we now have our nice box and the next thing we're going to want to do is to get rid of this nasty caulk texture and so we go to the little menu in the side here and then scroll down and I'm going to go with Evil 8 now we double click on Evil 8 Base and as you can see it loads all the textures in the Evil 8 folder well, in the Evil 8 Base folder and then holding Control Shift and then middle clicking on one of the walls as you can see it changes the texture uh, I'm just going to do this for all the walls now with a couple of different textures so you can just see more examples of them and then we have to do the ceiling and the floor and there we have it, it's nice and it's textured. Uh, the next part we have to do is to create our entities such as a spawn point or weapons or whatever we need. First of all though, biggest priority, we're going to create a light. So we click on light after right clicking and we see it appears and we get this little light intensity box. We just press OK or enter 300. Now we want to center this in our room this looks relatively centered but we can click this little change views button up here and just get a quick look to see if it is centered and it is so uh, we now have our nice light next thing we're going to want to do is to place a spawn point so we once again right click and then go to info player deathmatch and that creates this little green box here which is the spawn point and um, we're going to want to move this so this is the translate tool here As you can see it's the three arrows to move it in different directions. Uh, I'm using the top blue one here to move it down so it's near the ground because you don't really want to spawn in the air do you? Anyway the next thing I want to do is I'm going to put a little weapon in of some sort so same thing again and my favourite weapon the next we shall put in. Got a little bit of hit scan. Anyway so that's this in now and that is essentially us done that's all we have to make for a very simple map next thing we want to do is go up to the build menu and then go to long distance lighting and click on that and that will compile the map and you'll be able to go into Nexus or Zenotic and bring down the console and type in map, map tutorial and press enter and it should load and you'll spawn it in your map and you'll be able to explore your box 
Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. I hope it's, I hope it's helpful. Um, I'll probably make one discussing entities and a little bit more advanced stuff. There are a lot of other um, video tutorials for advanced stuff as well. I'll post some links once I can find them. Um, other than that, happy mapping.